In this chapter we're going to see how to create a service and how to run some code in the background. You need to know that there are two kinds of services. The unbounded services, they run indefinitely, and the bounded services, they only run for the lifespan of the calling activity. What we're going to do now is creating a simple application with only two buttons, start and stop. When clicking on start, in the background, we will play some music. So we will need to create a service for that. Let's start file new Android project service demo Android 2.1 package name com dot box island first activity service demo okay here it is so I'm going to start with the layout and I'm gonna add here two buttons button or up content whoops this is going here layout with let's say fill parent we'll need an ID for sure this is gonna be start some text start and we've got our first button now the second one I'll make the ID start like this and stop like this. Okay, perfect. Now we are going now in the, the source file in the package com.voxiln. Here it is. And of course, here I'm going right here I'm going to create my two buttons start button so of course it's a button find view by ID of r dot ID dot this one is start and this one is stop stop button stop now I'm going to create to unclick listener dot set on click listener new on click listener and import the onClick class and yes please add the unimplemented method and here we're going to start the service so we'll do that later and I will of course implement another onClick listener for the stop button here we're going to stop the service so now it's about time to create this service of course a service is a class so here in this package I'm going to ask for a new class here it is and the source folder is okay the package is okay the name I'm gonna name it my service the super class it's going to be a service so it's gonna be Android and we can browse of course 
So usually it's android.app, but here it's going to be android.service. And that's it. Click on finish. And I can open my service.java. So here I already have a public method implemented, iBinder on bind with an intent and I'm going to override two other methods. The first one will be public void on create on create and here I want to create a toss message uh, the context is going to be this the text is going to be my service created and the duration let's do toast dot length short and let's not forget the dot show and here when the service is created I can instantiate a media player because we will need to play some music so let's define this media player somewhere here so it's an object media player let's call it simply player I'm importing that guy done so now I will prepare everything player equal media player dot create the context is this and now I can provide a song it's a resource we'll take care of that in just a minute and uh, we're also going to say that we do not necessarily want this player to be looping so we're going to do that set that set looping at false so now let's take care of this resource here I'm going here to in resource I'm going to create a new folder so a new folder and I will, I will call it uh, row that's where I'm gonna put my music perfect and now I'm going to drag and drop a piece of music an mp3 file would be fine okay I'm not sure you've seen it but I just did that I dropped here uh, mp3 file it's called cendrillon.mp3 so now here I can access r.row.cendrillon here it is that's perfect so that's uh, the on create of this service no need to play anything just be ready start a media player set it on this uh, piece of music and that's fine but now we're going to override and the public void on start method okay so here we're going to receive an intent and of course have you seen that in the previous chapter a start ID here it's time to maybe create another toast message I will just copy that here and then place on music so my service created and now my service started and we'll just ask the player to start it's as simple as that and I'm saving so here I've created a service and I'm going in the Android manifest file and I'm going to let the system know about this service so after the, 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 the piece here the, the application and the activity uh, section here after activity so I don't need any space here after activity I will just create a service tag with an Android enabled equal true of course we want to be able to use 
this service and we need to provide a name for this service and here it's the name of the class my service end of the service we're done in this Android manifest file now we just have to start and stop this service with the buttons and uh, test it making sure that it, everything is working fine so let me go back in uh, service demo.java here now how to start the service okay so we're going to create an intent and we're going to use also the start service method we need to provide an intent so it's a new intent so the context here uh, let's do x66 and go back on this later and the service we're going to provide the class directly my service dot class and here let's take care of this x66 so I need this um, but not the, the this on set on click listener that this uh, that I'm gonna save here so let's create right here a context and let's name it save this equal this so that we can use it we can use it right here and stopping the service is gonna be exactly the same thing with the stop service method here we go so I think it's uh, about time to test well, make sure that you are when you try to run you are really in the service demo.java and not in my service.java that would not make any sense Here we go, so I'm unlocking the emulator and we have our application. If I click on start, I don't know if you can hear it, but I we had some music playing and we had our two toast messages. Now if I click on stop, oh if I click on stop, nothing's happening. So let me close the emulator and go back here and see what's wrong. Well actually here we have overrided and on create and an on start method we have prepared a media player and we have started a me media player we never stopped the media player that's what we're going to do here overriding a last method which is on destroy called of course when we destroy the service and we're gonna do here player stop let's try again now there we is we can click and start we have some music the service has started if we click on stop the player stops so this means that today we have killed two birds with one stone. We have seen how to create a service and run something in the background. We have seen how to play some music. And consequently, we have seen how to play some music in the background.